My name is Dan McGuire. I'm the a consultant for the American Corn Growers Foundation, and I have uh, been in charge of their Wealth from the Wind program since about 1999. I'm also a co-chair of the Nebraska Wind Working Group. I'm the Wind for Schools facilitator for Nebraska for the National Renewable Energy Laboratory, and I am on the board of the Nebraska Farmers Union. It means a lot to Nebraska. Wind energy has a wealth of benefits. It's clean. It is cost competitive. It, uh, you know, in 2012, water has been a big issue in Nebraska. Uh, the drought is still uh, hammering us. Wind energy doesn't use any water. In fact, if we were to uh, have the 20% wind energy nationally by 2030, it would save in the trillions of gallons. But wind energy, energy has a tremendous amount of other benefits. It has the opportunity for uh, economic development in Nebraska, rural economic development. Uh, the investment so far even, I think, is estimated uh, in the neighborhood of a billion dollars, just in the amount that's going into the current projects in Nebraska, or the ones that are planned so far. It's jobs in rural communities. It raises the property tax levels, so it enhances everybody's benefit throughout the state. It's not just local county property taxes either. It comes into the state coffers. Win for Schools is a perfect example of something that Nebraska leads the country. We have 24 K-12 schools now that are partners with the University of Nebraska Wind Application Center and the U.S. Department of Energy Wind Powering America NREL Win for Schools program. That's about career development. Energy security is a big deal. It is a really big deal for this country. Uh, you look at gas prices and so on, and I'd like to point out that wind is similar to ethanol. If you look at this photo right here, that is an ethanol plant in Minnesota that also has wind turbines helping provide the power. Ethanol keeps gasoline prices a dollar lower than they other would be, otherwise would be at the pump right now. For all U.S. consumers, saves every household $1,200 uh, per year, every household. That's a big deal. Wind energy is going through some of the same growing pains, frankly, that uh, ethanol went through as a key renewable energy source. So, if you, you know, some of the things you hear about are subsidies. Well, wind, ethanol needed subsidies. Wind needs subsidies. That chart shows that fossil fuels, coal, oil, natural gas, they've been getting subsidies for 100 years, and they're still getting them. So when we talk about subsidies, I like to point out that, uh, look, Let's, uh, let's be fair with wind and other renewables and let's understand that they, just like fossil fuels and nuclear and all the others, uh, deserve to be on a level playing field. So we certainly speak in favor of the incentives and subsidies for wind energy. So there's a world of opportunity and uh, we're just very pleased uh, that uh, Nebraska has gotten engaged here. It took us a while to get it done. The law had to be changed in 2007 and uh, uh, Farmers Union, Merrick Corn, was very much involved in that along with a lot of other groups. So now we're moving forward and we hope to see more happen. It's good for the state.